Before we begin with the video, allow me first and foremost to sing Mr. Leaning Versus praises, and also tell you all that if you would like to see a more polished and almost certainly better edited version of the events that you're about to watch, then go down to the description, find the link for Mr. Leaning Versus channel, and you can go and watch his video of Dead Island Riptoid from his point of view. If you'd like to continue from my POV and with my disgusting half brummy and half yam yam accent, then by all means, thank you very much. Dead Island. What an absolute banger of a series. I'd platinumed Dead Island 2 earlier in the year, before I began making videos, and I played the original an absolute shit ton when it was first released. Riptoid, on the other hand, I'd never touched before, because I always assumed it was just a DLC to the original. Oh, how wrong I was. Going into Riptoid, I expected it to be easy, given how quickly I'd got the Platinum on the sequel, and my prior experience with the prequel, but I couldn't have been more wrong. Luckily, I had the awesome content creator, Mr. Lean In Versus, alongside me, putting my zombie slaying skills to shame and carrying my ass all the way through. So to begin with, I had to complete the tutorial solo before anything else, and despite being warned multiple times from loading screens and comments left on guides, I thought it was zombie whacking time. And I died. The first of many, many deaths. I finally managed to get to the end of the tutorial and escape the ship for the trophy, The Storm. It was then finally time to team up with Mr. Lee Ning Versus. And to be completely honest, I was having that much of a laugh and enjoying the game I forgot to hit record. Thankfully, PS5 saves a small clip, so for killing 50 zombies by smashing, decapitating, or shooting them in the head, I got the trophy, Brainless. Then, as part of the story, we had to find a boat, so we could use it in the jungle, and for doing that, we got the trophy, Heart of Darkness. Now I'm going to be completely honest here, I usually cover the story in the majority of the games that are platinum, but this time around, I completely forgot all about what was going on and just enjoyed slaying zombies, running around like a headless chicken and dying. However, what I can tell you about the story is there are a few areas in which we meet up with a bunch of survivors and we are then tasked with defending that area from an incoming horde of zombies. So, for installing five barricades during a hub defence, I got the trophy Siege Hammer. We then had to find a pump in order to drain the water away from the sewer entrance, which was conveniently located at the same area we had just defended. While the pump was active, the noise brought yet another horde of zombies our way. For successfully defending the tunnel entrance, we got the trophy breaching the tunnels. This bitch pushed me out the way just to get the kill. <laughs> Kill stealer. Is everybody still alive? Not bad. Oh, oh I got another trophy. Same. Breaching the it. tunnels. Successfully defend a tunnel entrance. Sweet. We Happy days. It. I don't like a hat. We then made our way through the absolutely awfully and very dark laid out tunnels with everybody's favourite content creator leading the charge, killing anything and everything that moved until we eventually emerged outside and found ourselves in a new area. And for reaching that new area, we got the trophy, Henderson Town. 36, oh okay. Oh my god, I got another one. 
Yeah, I got that one as well. Henderson Town. Let's go. Since the entire town could be some weather. Let's clear this shit all out. From here, the two of us completed a number of side missions and upgraded our gear before then arriving at our next objective, the cinema. Uh, this would serve as yet another hub for survivors and we would have to defend the hub once again from hordes of zombies, which had begun to get increasingly strong. While clearing out the area, we got the trophy, the cinema. Not bad. The cinema. Hi. Cinema. Clear out the cinema. Right, pictures are safe now. We can watch some films. The next trophy I unlocked was for defeating oh, each type of special enemy, basically all the variants of zombie. There is a grenadier, thug, wrestler, infected, suicider, screamer, butcher, and the floater. Eventually, we came across the one that I was missing. Mr. Lee had already killed the wrestler earlier and had the trophy, so he made sure that I got the finishing blow. For the trophy, King Among Kings. Do not fucking Ray. mess with me! King got it? Kings. Nice. Good shit. Loads of guns, but they're all a bit shy. The next trophy was related to the story, and we had to make our way to the military base for some reason. So after tons of zombie killing, a couple more inevitable deaths from myself, we finally arrive at our next destination and get the trophy, military base. Now with Dead Island Riptoid, there is only two trophies that actually require you to play co-op. One is for completing all main missions with any number of partners, and the other is for marking a hundred enemies that are then killed by your co-op partner. Sounds simple enough, but the marking in this game is finicky at best. But eventually, Mr. Lee killed the 100th enemy that I had marked for the trophy. It's an order. Wow. Good shit. We then head back to the cinema and head up to the roof for a helicopter to come and evacuate all the survivors. The guy in the chopper only wants the guys who are immune and ends up shooting at us when a non-immune person tries to climb the ladder. This causes an explosion, and we then have to defend the hub once again from the horde. After successfully defending ourselves, we get the trophy, Combat on the Roof. Oh, Combat on the Roof. Survive the horde on the roof. And we're getting all the trophies now. You've actually had a break. Throughout the game, when we'd been running around, we would occasionally come across travel guides, recorders, and other types of collectibles. These were scattered everywhere. However, up until this point, yeah, we'd been finding them quite easily like, without the use of a guide. For picking up 50% of the collectibles, we got the trophy, um, the collector. I've only ever played. Oh, you got your trophy? Good shit. Nice. Moving along with the story now, and the guy who shot at us from the chopper okay. is now chilling out with the rest of our new band of survivors, and we agree to make a deal with him in order for another helicopter. For making that, that deal with this guy named Serpo, yeah, we get the trophy, Meeting Serpo. Ooh. Meeting Serpo. Make pact with Serpo. Taking a small break from just steamrolling through the story missions and trophies for a little bit, we began concentrating on a couple of the side missions and also begun working on some of the miscellaneous trophies. So for killing 100 enemies using a kick or stomp, we got the trophy, Bully. Yeah, he stomps. Nice. Going back to the story now, and the rate of trophies certainly sped up at this point. First off, we made our way to the next area, and by the name of the trophy, you'll know which area that was. The docks. Oh. While making our way through the docks, I then hit level 50 and got the trophy, obtain level 50. Oh Jesus. <laughs> I was just about to say we got a wrestler and the next thing I know he's fucking flying through the fucking air. Then we had to stop Harlow, who Places had been like... one of our survivors at one point, Jesus. but for some reason decided to inject herself with the zombie disease and became almost unstoppable. So, for stopping her, we got the trophy, 
defeat Harlow. Got her. Then, a trophy as after well. that, we basically Making just had to escape, hop on a boat, and ride off into the sunset to complete the game. For the trophy, you've tricked well, me well, once. And because me and the legend Mr. Leaning Versus had done every we mission to do together, anything. we got and the trophy, dream team. Let's go. dream team. Complete all the main quests, cooperative with any number of partners. Hell yeah, bro. We done. But we were not done, seeing as we only had trophies remaining that could be completed solo, either one of us could have just dipped. But we were having such a blast, we decided to run it down in co-op right the way through till the end. So the next thing on the agenda was to start working our way through all of the side missions, taking care of specific enemies, reaching level 70, collectibles and a few other miscellaneous trophies. The next trophy we earned was for getting 25 kills with the chainsaw, Considering we'd only come across one in the entire game, we had to take it in turns. The chainsaw was shocking to handle, but after the 25th kill, I got the trophy better than an arm. Oh, you got it. Nice. The next trophy was for killing enemies with thrown weapons, which sounds simple enough, but more often than not, a thrown weapon would simply disappear or end up in a completely random place. After getting my 100th kill with a thrown weapon, I got the trophy, Perla. We then completed a specific side mission that had a trophy attached to it. Once the side mission was handed in to Dr. Kesler, we got the trophy, Serving Science and then we were able oh, to give electronic scraps in exchange for experience points. Seven and well, it's safe to say we had a fair bit Dr. in our stash. He just keeps looking at each of us. Oh my god, he's going to have a sore neck in a minute. Oh my god. This is ridiculous. Oh my days, bro, how long? We then continued our search for electronic scraps, no, I mean collectibles, and managed to find the last page from the guidebook for the trophy, Professional Tourist, before then doing probably the most annoying trophy in the game, which was for getting charge kills. The charge ability felt like it never wanted to connect properly, and half the time it wouldn't even kill the zombie. After quite a while of repeatedly charging zombies, I got the 100th kill and the trophy, Juggernaut. The next trophy we earned was for finding all nine secret foils hidden around the island for the trophy Mystery Solved, before then heading towards a guy named Cecil who'd set up his own little hospital and required us to do a couple of side missions for him. Upon completing those couple of side missions, we got the trophy First Do No Harm. I do too. Yeah, there we go. I mean, you give me a trophy, that's better than anything really. First, do no harm. Finish the hospital quest for Sicil. Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah. Then it was back to finding collectibles, and all we had left were the recordings. Once we found the last recording, we got the trophy News Junkie, and because that was the final collectible, we also got the trophy The Hoarder. Find all of the volunteers' voice recordings. Let's go. Every collectible. With those two trophies out of the way, we knew the end was in sight, because up until this point, we had been worried that one of the collectibles was going to glitch out and cause the trophy to be bugged, as some people have experienced. We then decided it was time to take out all of the name-specific enemies in the dead zones. Some of these enemies were pretty tough, but not enough to cause any real concern, and we smashed through them all one by one, until we got the trophy Hunter Seeker. And because the last one happened to be our last side mission, we also got the trophy Achiever. Find and kill all of the most dangerous monstrosities located in the dead zones. Let's go. The whole time co op and not a single glitched. Well, touch wood. Not a single glitched trophy. 
Then I got the trophy, the Hurt Mine Locker, for killing 10 enemies with one mine, but I don't remember planting the mine and I was not recording, which left us both a bit confused, but I'll take it. We then headed to an area that had two named zombies that were twins. We'd already killed the one, which didn't matter in the end because he'd respawned again anyway, but after killing the second, we then got a trophy, twins. There it is. Twins, let's go. Kill the twins. One of the trophies that had eluded us up until this point was very easily achievable during all the hub defense sections. But because we were too good at killing the zombies before the other survivors were in trouble, we hadn't saved enough. So what we had to do was run into the jungle, get a group of zombies to follow us back to the hub and then allow them to start attacking the survivors, wait for the survivor to get grabbed and then hit the zombie off of them. This would have been okay if the survivors didn't keep battering the zombies, but after attempting this for a while, eventually I managed to rescue a survivor for the 20th time and got the trophy at your service. Oh, you got it? Oh, hell yeah, brother. Nice, let's go. The next trophy was annoying to say the least. Using the boats scattered around the marshes, we had to run over the zombies. It wouldn't have been so bad had the hit registration not been so dodgy, but after running over 105 zombies using the boat, it was meant to be 100 by the way, I got the trophy, jet boat. Oh, you got it. Nice. This meant that all that was left was to hit level 70 and the Platinum Trophy would be ours. The only problem was, we were roughly between the levels of 63 and 66. So we began New Game Plus and found that running through the story missions was the quickest and best way to earn quick XP. Especially the hub defense sections, where there were a lot of bigger and tougher enemies showing up. After a short while, I eventually hit level 70 and earned the trophy, obtained level 70. And then, the beautiful platinum trophy. Whoop whoop! GG's bro, GG's. Now, if you've made it this far, first off, thank you so, 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 so much. But, do me a favour and go and check out Mr. Leaning Versus channel, which I'll provide down in the description. His videos are immaculate and so much more polished than my own. As much as I should be asking you guys to leave me a like and etc, I'd rather you send him some love for carrying my ass through Dead Island Riptide. So, thanks again, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Fucking someone flew there. Holy shit.